Hello fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of March 4, 2018. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing week it is. Well, right out of the gate as we start this week, we are going to have two very powerful meetings taking place in the sky, all in the sign of Pisces. And in fact, when you think about Piscean energy, what is it? Well, it is inspired. It is very much about being carried away, being plugged into source, and at the same time, feeling a sense of belief, belief in yourself, having faith in yourself, in your future, and in each other. At the same time, this is an energy that is very much about going with the flow, knowing that what is meant to come will find its way to you and what isn't meant for you will leave and that really is okay. There's a certain peacefulness with this, especially if we accept things moving as they need to. So here's the thing, we've got the sun meeting Neptune in the sky right out of the gate. And at the same time, we have Venus meeting Mercury in the sky. So these are some very core energies, right? The Sun, Venus, Mercury, these are considered personal planets, which means they move very quickly around the zodiac and they tend to represent more immediate states of being and things that we are going to feel more strongly than we may necessarily feel some of what is called the outer planet transit. So we've got these meetings taking place and i feel like all of us in at least one area of life is going to have to practice acceptance is going to have to practice a sense of knowing that there is a divine wisdom playing out that it is a wise and loving universe that shows itself to us in all kinds of moments small and big so where is it in your life right now that you're getting a sense of where it is that you need to practice more acceptance where are you getting a sense that you're trying to hold on to something or you're struggling for something when really the power is in surrender and where is it that you're holding on to something too tightly that maybe has been trying to and letting you know that it wants to leave well these are some of the lessons that may very well play out right now also keep in mind, one of the great strengths with this energy is empathy. In fact, it is by practicing empathy and showing empathy that we're truly able to tap into this energy that much more to our advantage. So where is it that you could show a little more empathy, a little more compassion to yourself and to others? Where is it that you can trust that the karmic path before you is good, that there are blessings available to you? And where is it that you're going to allow those blessings to come in in their own time rather than fighting and going after and thinking that you have to make it happen? I am interested in the Sun and Neptune meeting for the acceptance and the release and the closure quality, the healthy closure quality with that meeting. But I'm also interested in Mercury meeting Venus because this is about seeing with the eyes of love, seeing with the eyes of hope, not necessarily seeing things as accurately as they may be, but certainly having a sense of desire overtaking our perception and having us believe the best in other people, especially if they're people that we love. Now, I, for one, think there's nothing wrong with that. We will never allow ourselves to truly love unless it is that we are willing to see the best in others because there's so much in life that is about the nitty gritty, so much in life that can be challenging. It really is the sweetness of love and the faith that love can be sweet that has us even trying for it, even being open to it. So we will have that as well as a collective. We will be feeling this energy. Our hope and our belief in love is going to guide our perceptions. But the energy does switch up as we get to the middle of the week. It is in the middle of the week that Venus and Mercury both will change signs. They will both move into the sign of Aries. Now, this is almost like waking up, if you will, right? It is a dramatic shift of energy in the way we love and in the way that we communicate. Whereas Mercury in the sign of Pisces is more imaginative and intuitive and listens more than it shares, as he moves into the sign of Aries, a lot of people out there are gonna have a lot to say, let me say, and are gonna have passionate things to say at that, some deeply rooted convictions that they feel like sharing. And in Venus as well, whereas Venus in Pisces believes in the dream of love and has that sense of wanting to be carried away, once she moves into Aries, it's very much this love at first sight, love and passion and, passion and adrenaline all meeting together 
in this mix guiding our way forward especially in matters of heart now as we get to the end of the week the very end of the week that is when mercury will go into shadow right so here we are again we're starting another mercury retrograde season this is mercury moving into shadow which means that it is the very beginning of the mercury retrograde season this is where mercury will return to a few weeks down the road especially as we get into april once mercury goes direct that direct after he goes retro in a couple of weeks then he'll go direct in a couple of weeks after that that direct is going to happen where mercury is as we get to the end of this week and what that means is it's really important to pay attention to what is taking place in your life what messages are coming forward, what you need to look over or come back to, uh, whatever that is for you is going to give you some clues into where it is that you'll be focusing a lot of energy now and in the weeks ahead, focusing a lot of energy where ever it is in your sky in your chart uh, in your sky given your sun sign your moon sign or your rising sign where is that aries energy for you well you'll be considering and reconsidering that particular area of life now and in the weeks ahead what i love about this week for us is that in many ways there is a shift there is a change a lot of that shift is going to be felt early in the week and it's very personal and also very meaningful at that and then once we get later into the week the energy turns decidedly passionate as we find a new enthusiasm for life and a conviction to feel it and live it all well thank you so much for watching i'm so grateful for it please like comment subscribe share thumbs up it means so much you can find me online facebook twitter instagram and the youtube comments as well and you can get a video looking at the week ahead all this wonderful stuff i spoke about for you and your sign is available right now at nadiashaw.com or astrofabulous.com sign up to be one of my superstars superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week and so much more advanced monthly horoscopes special horoscopes and limited access to those as well i look forward to meeting you in the superstar space so i'm in england right now i'm staying at a friend's house she is just such a lovely person she is one of the hosts of the events that i have been scheduled to do but if you're anywhere near the uk you probably know by now that much of the country is has been kind of at a standstill because of some snowstorms and uh, that's okay it happens but what it means is that the saturday class that was meant to take place actually today the day i'm filming it it was meant to take place today it had to be canceled and again that's okay i feel that surrender right that i spoke about i was like sun meeting neptune that must be what's going on right now and i was thinking i think this is what's happening in my chart so there's this sense and of course my friend chrissy who is one of the hosts of the bath astrologers forum she actually looked at my chart she was like oh there it is there it is i'm like yeah but i know that i'm making the absolute most of it and also just feeling the love i must say there's so much love in bath for me and i'm really really grateful for that and so much more so uh here i am and the talk for monday is still on so if you are anywhere near bath Monday evening this Monday evening of this week which is the 5th of March I hope that you will join me at the Bath Astrologers Forum so you can find that online uh, there's a link below you can link to the Bristol and Bath Astrologers Forum webpage that'll give you the details of where it is love to meet friends and fans out there I will have a limited number of books available for sale of my book astrology realized I'll have a very small number I've got about two or three necklaces the universe is wise and loving necklaces and those will also be available as well and I look forward to meeting friends and fans my other talks are still on we're still a go I'm going to be in Ireland in Dublin Ireland with astrology Ireland uh, the weekend of the 9th the 9th and the 10th of March I am going to be in Serbia in Belgrade on the 16 uh, the weekend of the 16th of March and then I'm gonna be in Greece on the 20th of March so all of that we're still on we're still good and it's very exciting and if you can't make it out to one of these live events we can also do classes online as well I've got some classes coming up as part of synchronicity university at synchronicityuniversity.com i'll be teaching three classes in the month of april you can register online they're live in real time webinars that take place if you can't join us live you'll get the full digital download that you can learn from infinitely i'm teaching a class on the nodes in astrology another class 
having to do with past lives in astrology and also health and holistic healing in the astrology chart as well. I look forward to meeting you online uh, as part of Synchronicity University. Now, before I let you go, I do want to mention triple tarot you might have noticed if you are someone who's watching me on youtube and especially if you've you know hit that bell that you see uh down below uh just below the video you'll see there's a little notification bell when you hit that bell it means that you get a notification whenever it is that i share a new video i publish a new video well you might have noticed that a week or so ago i shared triple tarot and i am just so very excited and so very proud of this brand new venture uh, that i'll be doing this year if you've been watching me for a while you know a couple of years back every month i shared a new artist with you and that was so much fun and so rewarding and i know it meant a lot to different people out there now what i'm going to do this year is once a month in the middle of the month i will be sharing someone new who does astrology or otherwise part of putting love and wisdom in the world. So whether it's astrology, whether it's tarot, whatever it is, I will be sharing someone new on my channel, someone who I believe is good at what they do, someone who could use more views, who could use more subscribers, whether they're new to YouTube or have been on for a while or maybe don't really have an online presence yet. I'm really looking forward to sharing some amazing people with you this year of 2018. Now, if you are somebody who is doing, you know, stuff online that you believe is part of putting love and wisdom in the world, and you'd like to create a video that will be showcased on my channel, please do get in touch with us. Use the contact form on my website. I can't guarantee that everybody who reaches out is going to be able to be published on my site. There are very few slots available. Some of them are already been filled with people that I know personally. And so we'll do our best. I'll try my best, uh, but it would be great to have you reach out. And again, I'm really looking forward to sharing with my audience some amazing uh, people out there who I think are part of putting love and wisdom in the world as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being with me in a cold and snowy uh, UK. But I, again, as I said, I feel the love in the UK. It really is okay. It's been a long time since I felt a winter like this. I'm born and raised in Canada and Toronto. I've known cold, but I haven't known cold for the past five years the way that I know cold today thanks to the UK. So lots of memorable experiences happening all around. And I'm looking forward to meeting friends and fans on Monday night. Look forward to seeing you there. Well, thank you for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.